What's up guys, it's King Josh back with another video and today I have a post moves tutorial for you guys and I'm going to be showing you guys some of the moves that I use a lot in NBA 2K19. This move right here is probably my favorite move in NBA 2K19. I like to drive into the paint and once I'm in there, they think I'm going to take a layup, sometimes they jump, sometimes they don't and then right after that I just do a post hop shot. Right here you can see I'm in the paint and he thinks I'm going to put it up but I end up doing a post hop shot. And surprisingly, this move works against most defenders I go up against, and some of the time they don't even jump, but they just sit in the paint and put their hands up and expect me to go inside, but I end up taking a post hop shot and it really confuses them. And to do this move, all you want to do is post up, move your left analog stick in the direction you want to go, so right here I pointed it to the right, and I press square to do the hop, and right after you press square you're going to want to hold it to take the shot. This move is really useful when your opponent's playing back on you, expecting you to go inside. You could just take a post hop shot, and as you can see, it was lightly contested there, but my build can hit those. And in this clip right here, I was trying to go inside, but he wasn't letting me, so I just took a post hop shot, and he didn't even get a contest on it. And in these same situations, when your opponent thinks that you're going inside, or they're playing back on you, instead of doing a post hop shot, you can just do a post fade. To do this move, you want to hold your left analog stick away from you, and then hold square like you're taking a normal jump shot. So in this case... I held my left analog stick down and to the left diagonally. And the best way to score on your defender when you're doing post moves is to combine a bunch of moves. So right here you can see that I'm doing a post speed boost, which I'm going to show you guys later in the video. Then I hold L2 to do a hard stop. I spin into the paint so my defender thinks I'm going to go inside, but then I end up taking a post fade. And he's not contesting it, he's backing up into the paint so I'm actually going to green the shot and it's going to count as an open shot. So this next move that we're going to go over is the post shimmy fade and I actually don't use it too much but it's really effective because as you can see right here as I do the post shimmy fade he thinks it's a normal fade so he ends up jumping early and doesn't get a contest on the shot. To do this move you want to point your left analog stick away from the hoop so in this case I pointed it to the right and I double tapped square but on the second tap I actually held it and if you do that your my player will do a post shimmy fade. And like I said, I don't use this move that much, but it's really effective against taller defenders because when they do jump, if they end up jumping early, they're not going to get a contest on you. This next move is called the post speed boost, and it's actually really effective. A lot of elite players know how to guard this move, but if you're just playing against a bad or an okay defender, you can get them almost every time with this move. So to do this move, all you want to do is post up, and right here I actually pressed up on my right analog stick to switch the direction that I was posting up in. And once you're in position, you want to let go of your post up button, hold the sprint button, and move your left analog stick in the direction of a C. And you actually do want to go from bottom to top, so it's like you're drawing a C with your left analog stick from the bottom to the top. And as you guys can see by this clip right here, this move is very fast and very effective. Because most opponents don't expect you to do this move, they expect you to do maybe a fade or to just try to back them down. If you want to do this move on the right side of the floor, all you have to do is press up on your right analog stick. Before you do this move, you can move around in the post to confuse your defender and once you're ready to do the move, you're going to want to move your left analog stick in the direction of a backward C from the bottom to the top. And if you do that, you'll get an animation like this that'll confuse your defender. This next move that I'm going to show you guys is like a post spin, but it's really fast. To do a post spin, you just have to move your right stick in a half circle when you're posting up. But for this move, you do the same thing, but it's actually with your left stick, and it'll put you in a really fast post spin animation that's really effective. So when I do this move, I like to back up away from the post, then get my defender to start walking towards me, and then I drive in, and it's kind of like the speed boost move that I showed you guys before, because you do get a burst of speed after doing this move. In this clip right here, you can see that I catch the ball, and I start to drive in, I press L2 to do a hard stop, then my defender starts to step up, but I do a spin into the paint, and by that time, he's already to the side or behind me, and then I can take an easy layup or dunk. Same thing with this next clip. I start to drive in, press L2 to do a hard stop, my defender steps up, and then I drive right in for the easy dunk. And since this is a post move tutorial, I gotta tell you guys some basics. So, when you do have a mismatch in the post, when you're going against a guard or a stretch big, you either want to do a post spin like you see in this clip right here, you're most likely going to get a good animation like this, and then once you do get in the paint, you can wait for them to jump and then put it up, or if you're far enough in front of your defender, you can just put the shot up right away. If you do do a post spin from the wing or a baseline, you can do a reverse dunk and this is actually really effective. So in this clip right here, I'm coming from the left side of the floor, so after I do a post spin, I held my right analog stick to the left. And in this clip right here, I held it to the right since I came from the right side of the floor. 
And instead of just spamming post spins, if you have a mismatch, you can also do drop steps. And to do this move, you want to move your left analog stick away from the defender and press square. So in this case, I held my left analog stick up and to the right diagonally to do the drop step. And right after that, you can either wait for them to jump or you can just put up a layup or dunk right away. And what I tend to do is I put the shot up right away if it's a mismatch because most of the time, if you're going up against a guard, they'll be so small that it won't even register a contest. But if you are going up against a big man, most of the time, I'll wait to let them jump. But if I back them down enough into the paint, I'll just put it up. This right here might be my most used move. When I'm driving into the paint, I tend to press square and I fake so many defenders out with an up and under. It's so effective because the defender thinks you're going to put the shot up, but then you can catch them mid air and they'll either go flying away from you and you'll be wide open or they'll give you enough space so that you can hit a shot. In this clip right here, I had a mismatch, so I decided to do a post spin, but I didn't get the best of animations. So right after, I did an up and under pump fake, got my defender jumping, and that left me wide open. And sometimes when I end up doing this, the first fake doesn't get them, so I do a second fake because they think that I'm going to put the shot up right after the first fake. Next, we're going to go over the post spin step back, and I actually don't use this move too much because my mid range is not too high, but to do this move, after you do a post spin, you just want to point your left analog stick in the direction that you're going, then press square to do a step back, and I actually do have the James Harden step back equipped, so that's why it creates so much space. And this move actually works the best for shot creators and shot creating post scorers. And last but not least for you guys, I got a post hop shot fake into a post hop shot, and this move is super effective. And to do a fake, all you have to do is move your right analog stick in the direction you want to fake really fast. So I moved the right analog stick to the right. I faked a post hop shot in that direction and I actually got my defender jumping. Then I move my left analog stick to the left and I create so much separation that I can get a wide open green release for the game winner. And fakes in this game are really good because you can fake in any direction. You can fake a post hop shot left or right. You can fake one backwards. You can fake going into the paint to create some space and then do a post hop shot after. There's an endless combination of things you can do with post moves. It's crazy. And when you are going up against the defender in the post, just remember to not spam one move because they'll get used to your tendencies and they'll figure out how to guard it. So you're going to want to combine these moves and that'll make your moves unpredictable and it'll make you so much harder to guard. So that's going to be it for the video. Make sure to drop a like if you enjoyed. And if you guys have any questions about any of these moves or combinations or anything just make sure to leave it in the comments below i will get back to you make sure to subscribe to the channel if you're new and i'm out peace